God's people, the Israelites, were slaves in Egypt, and God called Moses to rescue them. Moses and his brother Aaron went to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and told him, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says, Let my people go. But Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord? Why should I obey him? Israel may not go. So God sent ten plagues to punish the Egyptians. First, God turned the water in the Nile River into blood. But Pharaoh would not let the people go. God sent frogs into Egypt. Pharaoh said, Ask your God to take away the frogs. Then I will let the people go. But when God removed the frogs, Pharaoh refused to let the people go. So God sent gnats that bit the people and animals. Then God sent flies, and he caused all the livestock to die. Still, Pharaoh did not let the people go. God sent boils that covered the people, but Pharaoh's heart was hard. Not even a terrible hailstorm changed Pharaoh's mind. Locusts ate up the plants, and then darkness covered the land for three days. But still, Pharaoh said no. God told Moses, I will bring one more plague. After that, Pharaoh will let my people go. So Moses warned Pharaoh, every firstborn son in Egypt will die, but the Israelites will be safe. Pharaoh ignored Moses. So God told the Israelite families to kill a lamb and put its blood on the doorposts of their houses. This would be a special mark that God would see and pass over. The Israelites' families would be safe. At midnight, God struck every firstborn in the land of Egypt. There was a great cry because there wasn't a house with someone dead. Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron. Go, he said. The Israelites were ready. All of them, 600,000 men and their families, left Egypt quickly. They took bread and their animals. The Egyptians gave them gold, silver, and clothing. God led his people out of Egypt. He was preparing a place for them in a land called Canaan. For 430 years, the Israelites had been slaves in Egypt. They were finally free. By his grace, God spared the Israelites from judgment by requiring the blood of a lamb. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. His death was the ultimate sacrifice. And those who trust in Jesus are under his saving blood and will be passed over in the final judgment.